Oh boy. There's always a bit of Daryl Kerrigan wanting to come out of me when I come to a place like this. And I'm gonna restrain myself from saying it. No, bugger it, I won't. How's the serenity? Woo! What a shot that is. Just wish there was a sunrise to accompany it that was grand enough to suit the window. Been down here for the last 20 minutes and I've seen about half a dozen people just walk straight past this window in an effort to get down on that boardwalk and buy the rocks. Must be the first time they've been here because this is the most beautiful part of the pulpit walk down past Cape Shank Lighthouse here on the Mornington Peninsula. And I'm bloody pumped up. I'm like that Paul Jennings story where you turn yourself inside out. That's the way it feels right now. Oh, this is gonna be a beauty. A shorty, but a beauty. Transition time. Oh, hang in there, camera. Oh. It's early July down here at the moment and this boardwalk is like an ice skating rink. With all this camera gear on board, I've got one hand tentatively rested on the rail as I walk along here. Last thing I want is a bunch of camera bodies and lenses coming smack back down on the gob as I go T over A. It's an interesting spot here. You can see, if I can spin around with all this gear on, you can see over here just how fragile the landmass is here and why it's so important that a boardwalk was established here by Parks Victoria. I have to admit, when you come down to a place like this, it's natural human instinct to want to explore, to want to get off the trail, to want to jump these rails and go in amongst nature as opposed to being on these man-made structures. But in a place like this, where the ecosystem is extremely fragile, it's just super important to stay on the boardwalk. A couple of surfers out there at the moment, they must be bloody mad. I'm convinced if you strip them down, they'd look like your classic Maya mannequin. Nothing but smooth surfaces. Nothing but smooth surfaces. It's very hard to get my mouth around S's in this cold. I need to go this way. But I also need to come back and get my camera. Take a gander at this rock pebble beach. Now, I know if you're a pommy watching, this is not that spectacular. But to a Victorian Australian like myself, this is something unusual. And I can't quite wrap my head around what it is that creates a rounded rock pebble beach like this one, as opposed to your traditional sandy beach. I have a theory, and that is that man can't walk past a body of water without throwing a rock at it. And here's proof in the pudding. Girl walks past, boy. Nope, gotta dump the rock, there it is. When Billy comes round, you Billy. Oh boy. How is it? This is just one of the most incredible spots I've ever come to, to wave watch, if you're into that sort of thing. You got Bass Strait out here, big boiling bales of water, just brewing 50 to 100 metres off the rocky shoreline here, and then they just bolt and channel their fury into this ditch here before petering out into the bay and on the rocks beyond. Well, I would have loved to have shown you some of the rock pools that I know lay just round the corner here. To me, they're little micro bowls of ocean flora and fauna, and it's a darn shame that the water levels come up too high to give you an appreciation of it. I could, but it's looking a bit too dangerous from the amount of froth that's getting up over the rocks over there. That's a wrap from me. I'm frog and toting back up to the car park. Get Terry, get outdoors, make it this place. You won't regret it.
One-time cheater, one-time lover, and a woman stealer.